Parental guidance is recommended for the following program. Your discretion is advised because of strong sexual content. Centuries ago, the Spaniards came to Jamaica in search of gold. They ravaged the indigenous Taino population and brought Africans to work the land. Among them was the African princess Nzinga, who refused to be enslaved. She ran away and met the last of the Tainos, who gave her their most prized possession, the golden nugget. Nzinga had the power to change shape and hit the nugget in a river. Today, she has finally emerged with the golden nugget. Golden Nugget contestants vie for the 2004 Kia Rio valued at over $1.3 million. Airline tickets from Air Jamaica, tickets from Air Jamaica Express, gift vouchers from Antillian Sports, gift vouchers from Locker Room Sports, distributors of Calme, weekends for two at the Sunset Beach Resort and Spa, the home of the Golden Nugget. On the last episode of the Golden Nugget, the persons who will be going home it's group number one, Dwayne and Tanish with 12 Nuggets. It was good having you here. Thanks for joining us. Team one, Dwayne and Tanish became the third couple to be eliminated. After their first round win, it was downhill from there on. Tanish gave up. I told you, sir, if them give me nothing for eat, me now go eat it. And the team quickly self-destructed. There was no hope for the team's survival, much to Duane's disappointment. Let me remind you, y'all are back at zero. All right, now the name of this challenge is Costume Parade. And I am going to read to you different identities. Now, you are going to be required to find these items to match these identities. All right, I just want to invite you now to pick your identity by groups. First group. To Hotel Osmeet. Each partner should be in a hotel housemaid's uniform, have a mop and a pail and a cleaning cloth. Two tennis players. Two tennis players. Both partners should wear matching color shorts, t-shirts. Each should have a tennis racket and three balls and each wearing a sunset beach cap. Two tourists. Two tourists. Each partner should be wearing a sunset beach t-shirt, tropical print shorts, and straw hats. And each should have a Jamaican road map. A waiter and a waitress. A waiter and waitress. Each partner should be in a waiter or waitress's uniform, each with a serving tray with three different colored drinks in glasses on a tray. Two patients. Two patients. Both partners 
should have a hand in a sling, a thermometer in the mouth, and a crutch under the arm. Civil servants. Civil servants. Each partner should wear shirts buttoned down in the front with a tie, long pants, and shoes and socks. Adam and Eve. <laughs> for the Adam and Eve identity, the genital area for the male must not be exposed. And for the females, no breasts or genital areas should be exposed. The use of any man-made garment is not allowed. Upon returning, partners should have should each have an American apple plus four different types of whole fruits. Great, so you guys have one hour in which to complete this challenge. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah? yeah. Alright, see you in an hour. I worked in the hotel before, so basically I know where to go and get costume. The first thought was to go to one of the house meets. Where you want to go? I need one of your uniforms. One of your mouth and one of your pillow and a clinic one. She said that she didn't have any there. We have to go to the laundromat. Go to the gate and across. The main gate? Yeah. We ran to the laundromat. Sunset Beach t-shirts. Two and two straw hats. We got the clothes by asking the, the store director if we could borrow it and we beg them and persuade them that we won't do anything to it. I want to host me and I'm going to have a map. The person who was in charge wasn't there at the time, so we beg somebody to give us the, the costume. She's One. a housemaid and I'm a houseman. A map and a pill and a clean Bring it back. We make sure we bring it back to you. A oh, uniform shirt. Now we can find it. Come on, let's find it. Civil servant should be fine as far as I was concerned. Should be easy for us to get civil servant based on the fact that I was at sunset. You know? At first I had to go and look for a tie, which was the hardest thing on the list. I went into the lobby and I was informed that I could ask one of our supervisors for a tie. Is there anybody here who wears a tie? You can't move quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. This one? A lie, a lie. Adam and Eve. But we go along, we must take a fine for them one. Adam and Eve, but they must make them one thing. Oh. It was quite easy when it came out to the costume because a lot of trees were in the environment. So. We're patients. You now we just start off the, um, the nursing station. We got all the things that we needed right at, at that one place. Two patients. Number three. came back and said we needed a second bucket. Apparently it was for two pails or two and two mops. We forgot one. Number six. Tennis, um, tennis players. We have interest in shows that I don't have shoes over here from other. Number five. Number five, housemaid and houseman. It wasn't so much of a role play for me, and I really enjoy the costumes. When it came on to the fruits, we found the banana and all of that. The apple was the only one that was not within arm's length, and, and I mean, I basically had to go out and get that. How far are you going on the road? 
That's crazy. When we heard that Paul went off the property to get an apple, it, we thought it was stupid. How much fruit is it supposed to have? One American apple and three other fruits. Go to dining for an American apple and go for one pineapple. Oh, Coconut, dear. yes, a banana, yes, and you're done. Tear off two banana leaf and you would have seen us. Coming up now. I did not know that my partner was going on the road to get the apple. I didn't get all my all the clothes, all the props that I needed for that and Ethan got his long before I did and he was furious with me. This woman gets it on the nerves man, I can't take the lame up thing you know. But I look my clothes and the woman clothes and this woman is joking. Finally getting JJ on the phone, she answered the phone and telling me that she can't find the pants and everything. What people in the lab are going to do to have them clothes give you? She did babbling, babbling on about them nonsense as far as I'm concerned. Because I don't have nothing to do with what I'm saying. I said to her, come now. That's all she needs to do is come now. Please, come now. I'm not busy when you get, come. You see that? I had to throw down all the phone and... Sure. Shirt, socks and tie. Four, 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 three, 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 three. What about the money left? Oh, they had the money Number seven. Oh, I mean, done. I thought my costume was okay, but it could have been a little more posh. Hello. Hello. Did you have the one? The left. Coming up now. Have you seen my walking? I'm still a fool. See them. See them now. See them. See them. See I don't see why I'm leaving the property to get the apple. Come on, you go find it. You go find one. Tamika is a model. She's on the shoot. She has to take off her clothes in front of other women and stuff like that. And she was being very bashful as if to say, wow. Concentrate on pulling the stupid bra, please. <laughs> that part of it wasn't the challenge. The part was actually getting something that wasn't there. Impossible. Mission impossible. The Golden Nugget will be right back. Shirt sock. Bro! Make it easy, Zwan! Come now! We're not busy again. How far are you going on the road? Mission impossible. In this big and full pool, so we can't find no other road to fit in. We were blaming Paul because he went far and we were waiting there more than half an hour for Paul to return. Everything they Watch the banana! Everything they are right eh? Somehow I commend him because the hotel didn't have any American apple and he went all the way to Super Plus in Montego Bay to get an apple for steam. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no. no. Much not you. We apologize and everything. No problem, no problem. No problem. So when we're going, he went all the way to Super Plus and I said, well... This is the, the extreme, so I'm going to go This is a two or die situation now. I've saved a lot. I give Paul thumbs up for that. But it's all in the challenge. But there you have a I've worked it. And when I apologize, I mean... It didn't, honestly, it didn't matter because at the end of the day, in the back of the minds, they still wanted me out. Did you guys enjoy that? Yes! Oh, yeah! I know you enjoyed dressing up getting your stuff, doing your thing in the gazebo. Some of you can do a little bit of acting, it's cool. Well, right now I have in my hand the point standing for the costume parade challenge. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, in first place we have group number three, Andre and Laurie with Woo! 10 nuggets. Woo! In second place we have group number two, Bruce and Luann with nine nuggets. Woo! In third place, we have group number six, Nicardo and Trudy, with eight nuggets. Yay! All right.
right? Well, that's the end of your first challenge. Are you ready for your next challenge? Yeah. yeah. All right, it's not right now, it's later on. So we'll see you later. All right. All right. One team continues to keep it together no matter what. Team 6, Nicardo and Trudy. If you come to a mission, we don't care about nobody. Their level of team spirit is alleged to have gone far beyond sportsman camaraderie. <laughs> and all the other teams seem to have something to say about it. So one day we finished our challenge and Nicardo was going into Trudy's room and she said, she said, no, 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 don't come in here with the holy past sand. And he made a comment, he's like, you know, you want like you're sleeping and she says, so she needs to leave it clean for Samantha. Down his room. So I said, but isn't Paul Nicardo's roommate? And she said, yes. Yeah, so. so she in my Paul of me? She sleeps on his bed. What? Well, girl. And Paul sleeping there? Paul just has a linda lifting here. Ha! <laughs> Nicardo and I have had an extra room in the, in the form of Judy, because Judy he is Nicardo's partner. I heard, heard, being opposite heard, that Judy is married with two children, and I have heard that Nicardo. Was it girl? Well, you never was in the corridor when I was at Nutsford. But when I did that, um, well, when I did that, I was doing my guide here. Pedro here. Pedro here. And in the corridor, <laughs> I was like, I'm walking on the show. Susan, I watched on TV. So I run in the room. And Susan was just lying on watching a normal comedy. I mean, <laughs> my girl, I said, I'm going to hand them door. <laughs> And then she was like, my head is hurting, oh my head is hurting. And we were like in our mind, it must hurt. Other contestants are saying that probably Nicardo and I are having uh, a sexual relationship apart from being just, just partners for the competition. We are here to calm each other's minds, calm each other's nerves, and be settled to go into each competition with a settled mind, a settled heart, and to win the car. My partner will sit down and talk and know what she's capable of. So it's like she's a person that needs comfort. If you leave her alone, you know, she, her mind will kind of like stray away from what she needs to do. So my job as her partner is like to be with her, to comfort her. So I have to make sure she knows all right. If anything should happen, I'm dead here for her. If I saw any other contestant, you know, moving the way me and Trudy do. I said the same thing. But nothing beyond that, we are just partners, you know? So whatever happens with Nicada and myself behind closed door is our business. So everybody can <laughs> off. Go to hell. Thank you. If there wasn't a girl at home, yeah, I would talk to Trudy. Anchovy Farms in Falmouth, Trelawney is run by the venerable okay, Kenneth King. Jamaica's own little animal farm is filled with a plethora of farm animals, the most abundant of which are goats. Goats and more goats. I think one of our challenges is going to be to ride one of those um, birds, like a horse. I think our challenge is to go up with close front with it and try to touch it mouth. <laughs> I'm a finger that. <laughs> Just overwhelmed by the beauty of the animals. To be quite honest with you. <laughs> Alright, welcome to your next challenge. Are you ready? Yeah! We are at Anchovy Farms in Falmouth. And you are to check your digital phones right now for your text message and to see What's your next challenge? Okay. Now the name of this challenge is Goat Business. Now your challenge is simple. Leave the starting position, follow the instructions carefully on the signs. First person to finish carrying out those instructions and gets to the judges wins. If you go against any rules on the signs, you will be disqualified. Understood? And if anything falls off, you have to start over from the, from the top. So are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, you're ready to meddle in some goat business. <laughs> All right.
Our teams must first collect a ribbon, then find a sprig with five leaves. The ribbon must now be tied to the sprig. Once this task has been completed, each team must catch a goat and tie the ribbon around the goat's neck. When I saw that challenge, I thought to myself, Betty Ann, this was a very easy, easy, easy one for me. I remember when I was younger and, you know, usually fool around animals, meaning running them down and, you know, try to catch even a ram goat and hold it by my hand. And I said, lover, okay, go for the goat. And lover, lift up the goat off the ground, almost choking the poor goat. The way how I would approach a goat by myself is I would get the goat calm and I would go towards the goat and then hold the goat. Now in such a challenge now, we're supposed to run down the goat and capture the goat in that duration of time. So to me, I just got that, that whole challenge I got thrown now. I've worked with goats before. They used to live in the country. I understand a little bit about goats though. You know, just know that you're not supposed to spook them if you want to get close. Goat having been caught and tied, teams must now coerce the goat to the judge's station without lifting it. They must ensure that the ribbon and sprig of leaves remain intact by the time they get to the judges or they'll have to start over. Number five. Woo, we came in first, we came in first. When it came on to Paul catching the goat, he was doing a good job there because I was kind of afraid of the goat and... Ah, come on, baby. Fuck him up. Three, number, number three, three, number three. I tied the blade of grass onto the goat's neck. They run up and them count. Two blades gone, so we have to start over again. Ethan wouldn't listen to me. He had him pull grass and put on to the goat. And grass doesn't carry leaves, grass carry blades. So we have to go again? Yeah. We had to pull off the string of the goat and let go the goat again. I don't wrong her if she says it is my fault in that challenge. I think so to myself. We had to actually do that for more, more than once. I think the first time the twigs fell off. One, two, three, four, five. Number eight! Eight, baby! Group, Group number, number four! four. Thanks, boy, thanks. Oh my God. Later, later. <laughs> Bruce had to be running up and down catching the goat because. To be honest, I didn't help him at all right there. It was fun running down the goat still, but catching one, she was like weak. Come on, baby. Run Number seven. So finally, after about the third try, we eventually got it, but we came in last. Two. Oh. The Golden Nugget will be right back. for goat business. First, we have group number five, Levar and Betty Ann with yeah. 10 nuggets. In second place, we have group number three, Andre and Laurie with yeah. nine nuggets. In third place, we have group number four, Carlton. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Samantha with eight nuggets. Oh. Now you all completed your challenges, so congratulations on that. This season's Golden Nugget contestants buy for the 2004 Kia Rio valued at over $1.3 million. Airline tickets from Air Jamaica, tickets from Air Jamaica Express, gift vouchers from Antillian Sports, gift vouchers from Locker Room Sports, distributors of Calme, weekends for two at the Sunset Beach Resort and Spa, the home of the Golden Nugget. 
now have the results, the final scores for this episode of the Golden Nugget. In first place, we have group number three, Andre and Laurie, with 19 nuggets. In second place, we have group number five, Levar and Betty, with 17 nuggets. In third place, we have a tie. Oh my goodness, this game is getting better and better. In third place, we have group number four, Carlton and Samantha, and group number six, Nicardo and Trudy, with 40 that's it for another episode of the Golden Nugget. See you guys on your next challenge on the next episode of the Golden Nugget. Yeah! Yeah! Next on the Golden Nugget. Now the name of your challenge is 10 Point Moss. You are to consume everything in the cup. <laughs> I know the jerk season kill Andre. I consume the rum. Of course you know how alcohol is on the air. <laughs> 10 pointers was a suicide challenge. <laughs> if I was selfish, I wouldn't have pulled up my leg and tell you what I just told if I was selfish. Your f***ing conscience are right, yo. I'm a dog and I'm dogging at this right now. You have people saying all sorts of things, all sorts of things about me and Nick, getting, trying to get into our business and what we're about and what we're doing. Take, some, take for instance Ethan. He's very slick like a snake that moves around. Cynically, Nick. He was after uh, Tanish. No, Tanish is not here. He's up to Luan. And then if it goes on, he'll go further if girls allow him to. People don't see them thing there. But I mean, I think they watch. So everybody have this for everybody have that. Never mind them own business. Concentrate on them challenge. Concentrate on them partner. Leave me and Nick alone. <laughs> <laughs>